What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another PlayStation Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to show you what to do when your PlayStation 4 controller won't connect to the PS4. I'm sure that this has happened to everyone at least once, but luckily there are a few things that you can do to troubleshoot and fix it. So starting off, this can be a common issue when you're either trying to switch to a different controller or you have another controller that is already on and connected to your console. To fix this, you need to first turn off the controller that is already connected before switching or trying to connect a second one. Now all you have to do is simply hold down the PS button on the first controller until it turns off. This should take about 10 seconds. Once it's off, you can connect whichever controller that you want to use to the micro USB and power it on with the PS button. Now it's fixed. If you only have one controller or there are no other controllers connected to your console, you can repeat these steps with just the one controller. Simply disconnect your controller from the micro USB, hold the PS button for 10 seconds until it powers off, then reconnect the micro USB and press the PS button to pair it with the system. If the issue only happens with a certain controller that you own, you can try resyncing that controller to your system. Simply go to your settings, then choose devices, then select Bluetooth devices, and then go through your list and forget your DualShock 4 controllers. Once you forget them in your system memory, you can then resync them back to your console. Just reconnect the micro USB and hold down the PS button. Next thing that you can try is simply doing a reset on the controller. Locate the small reset button on the back of the controller and then use an unfolded paper clip or similar device to press on the hidden button. Gently press the button for at least five seconds and then let go. Now connect your controller back to the PlayStation and press the PS button. If it connects, your problem is fixed. The next thing you can try is really simple, just restart the PlayStation. If this doesn't work, then the issue could be with the charging cable itself or the USB port on your console. You can try using a different micro USB cable or a different USB port on your PlayStation and see if it helps. Another problem could be that the charging port on your controller is either dirty or damaged, so you should inspect it yourself to see if this could be the issue. If everything that you try seems to not be working, the issue could be with the controller itself. You can try seeing if your controller pairs to any other devices that you own. Try connecting your controller to a computer with the USB cable and see if it recognizes the device. Or you can try seeing if your controller pairs to your phone. To do this, hold down the PS button and the share button at the same time until the light bar flashes white. Now you can look through your available Bluetooth devices on your phone and see if it shows up. If all else fails, you might have to replace the controller but hopefully one of these solutions fixed your problem. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or at least interesting, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!